Boah. Bibi. Hello? Lou? How's little Lou doing? No response. <laughs> well, look at that. The child's taking a shine to me. You two were out cold, so I had you brought here. You were right. Whatever you did back there returned us to our own world. I put your cargo and gear in your private box. You slept for a whole day, you know. Slept like the dead. <laughs> I'm already back in Capital Knot. Fragile's beach has been coming in handy. <laughs> Sam, I owe you an apology. Lou was the name you were going to give your own baby if he'd had made it. I should have pieced it together sooner. Don't know what you're talking about. Mm hmm? I found some records from ten years ago. Something A death, sudden, in the middle of a town. Young woman in the prime of her life. Nobody knew until it was too late. A void out. Her husband, who was a member of Bridges, had dooms. He tried, but he couldn't get to her in time. The whole town was wiped off the map, leaving nothing but a big crater and him. Because he was a repatriate. People wanted answers. Did the man hide his wife's body on purpose? The only survivor was the only suspect. He was easy to blame, and people did. And pretty soon, they were blaming Bridges, too. The man felt responsible, so he left. And his wife, who died, her name was Lucy. She'd been pregnant, poor woman. They were going to name their son, Lou. Didn't happen. But it did. President Strand told me. She talked about you all the time. He didn't have to cut all ties and walk away, she said. You wanna shut the fuck up? Calm down, Sam. Take a seat. I told you before about my body. 70% harvested from cadavers. Do you want to know the real reason why? Because the story you've heard is one I made up. The truth is, I'm Frankenstein's monster. Artificial, grown from pluripotent stem cells. Wow. And when that vital spark didn't manifest in all my organs, they replaced the defective ones with those of the dead. I never had a birthday. I'm a soulless, meat puppet. No car. A dead man. People born the traditional way have beaches. You have one. BB too. But I have no such connections. No mother. No afterlife. No beach. Do you see now why I'm so obsessed with it all? The battlefield. Now that was an awful beach. But strangely, I didn't hate it. Because I knew you were coming for me. I've never felt that before. Connected to someone. Anyone. You didn't have to cut all ties and walk away. The president was right about that much. Wasn't anything to walk away from. It's not like I was ever welcome there. Come on. Even I was welcome. 
Oh, that. You were holding it. Hmm? It's a bold 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 bag. U.S. issue. What's the name? Wasn't easy prying it out of your hand. Clifford Unger, as you can see. I looked him up in our database. Found a match. He was U.S. Army Special Forces. Fought in Kosovo, Iraq, Afghanistan. That's him. Well, that's all I've managed to dig up so far. Uh, you must be caked in chiral matter from the battlefield. Time for a shower, I'd say. Oh, I won't be joining you this time. The Die Hardman issue is no longer a concern. I've seen to it that our conversations won't be recorded. Hmph. <laughs> 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 Sam, do you copy? As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, to, to explain a little, our bodies, our ha, all occupy the same world. But our souls, our ka, have beaches all their own. These beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs religion, philosophy, and so forth. As a result, a beach can be anything, and those anythings form a multiverse. However, if many people die at once, their beaches can become entangled, creating a strand field. This phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, Exits vanish, and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, picture it like a, a, a record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Now, the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. I can't explain it. But if you can connect me to the Chiron network, who knows what we might discover. Still there, Sam? If so, I have a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. Hot man. Beep beep. I'm so sorry. I didn't know you were there. You're a hot man. You're a hot man. You're a hot man. You're a hot man. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. Weapon. Sam, the west side of that region is covered by a massive tar belt. Beyond it is Edgenot City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the rebirth, and remember, that's where Am. We need you to bring. 
But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more. Hartman will help you get it done. Fuck. Sam, I'd like to... First, the dog tag. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplay. Second, Mama's corpse. Uh, her, her body shows no signs of necrosis. Closest study may yield information. Suffice it to... One minute. I don't have much to... See to your... You'll find in the... Ah. Uh. All right, Sam. Take care of her. And don't worry, she won't go necro. Millingen special. Be funny if these Havars ended up being the key to saving us all. Stands a shadow of a man shaped just like me. My curiosity keeps me confused. Alpha. Delivery complete. Display performance evaluation. Request to join UCA registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. Some young. 
加温节。Proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Good work. What? Sun Dao Shou Shi Gan. What the fuck? Hmm? Just let me eat it up. 乜嘢復生到咗？死人咗。嗯，佢都有 Doom School。Episode Eight， Hot Man。Well, you certainly caught me with my pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. Hmm. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, oh, please lay her down there. Still no sign of them. You know your heart stops beating. It stops every twenty-one minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. Sixty deaths and sixty resurrections per day. Sixty opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, while you've travelled to and from the sea an impressive number of times. My beach count is a little higher. Two hundred and eighteen thousand five hundred and forty-nine. Pee, let me see. This is a song of pee, let me see. Pee. Get a new beginning. I see myself in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shape heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest. Three minutes at a time, and search for them, day after day after day. Or else you could say goodbye. Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? I find the thought terrifying. Spending eternity alone, which is why I decided to find my family. And make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? If <laughs> death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart, 
the muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. Oh. Um. A body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. Uh, What's bin, wrong? Bin Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. And this was Mama's? Yes. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. <laughs> I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions, I'll have my answers one day. One day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor. A place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach, a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? I don't know, but evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Time stops on the beach, but not in the seam. Rest assured, It'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. What the fuck? You met Haido. What the more?
啊。海豚。短短三分鐘。No luck. Visit two hundred eighteen thousand five hundred and fifty. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the twenty-one minute cycle, but for a first-time face-to-face meeting, there's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes, and no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially、uh, onerous. Defecation, ablution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21-minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep is the tricky one, and intercourse, I suppose, verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either.、Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Uh, listen to music. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music,、uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a twenty-one minute window. All from before the Death Stranding, of course. <laughs> But honestly. The twenty-one minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> 屌好撚煩，成日喺度俾心俾賴。About your circumstances, I lost my family in an accident too. 應該係虛爆我估。I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. 
when it was clear that I was going to pull through. My wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. And then they were caught in the void out. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power and my life support. I woke up on the beach. Wow! One more. So nice. That game. See ya. People who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? I saw my wife and my daughter in the procession. Hey, it's me! Where are you going? Wait! Don't leave without me! No! Don't go! Please, don't go! The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. 我以為佢係有 dooms 嘅。Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while, and when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny though. Even when my heart stops, the pain lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's strata to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning. One that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Amelie proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here, and here alone. You see, hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction, clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. 
It has the whole pay, incident you know. defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. No, okay, it was essential Higgs. to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to armor me. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the deaths. Hey, <laughs> 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 Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. Our ultimate objective in this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was... The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists. Now, we don't know the first thing. Now, that's a concern. But we won't know more until we get to Edge Knot City. And that... You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evil Devil biologist, so... I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we... A geologist of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinct. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has no doubt the result of excessive until the site is properly, nor will his. So we need you to bring it. The stratum the team was investigating dates from the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought it's the most recent of the big five. In any event, can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. Oh, if that rings, is huh? indeed what it is, then he has made well, a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential. One more thing, Sam. For this run, you'll be transporting an antimatter. A bridge's paleontologist. Apparently, the fossils he wants to study are buried deep. Now, hopefully, I don't need to tell you to be extra. Make sure you can. Yo, you want to Sam, I'm sure you haven't forgotten, but you need to be extremely... Any irregularities should trigger an... Sam Britt, I, I was worried you might not get here. I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers. I put the nightmares down to fatigue. Oh, it's just lucky we caught a dying it's not, it's not just my life. I guess you really... Evidence of an ancient 
Chiral matter has existed on Earth's this strut. Look at this, Sam. Do you see that black fissure there? We believe this is the source in the distant past. Earth producing layers of what is there. We call these layers. Extending the principle, our fissure hit the presence of corellium in this of all strata. It strongly suggests that beaches are not just that. The chiral network has recovered data suggesting that similar that would seem to indicate the big five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of in expanding the chiral network, you've had you furthered our individual and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover. But this is see this. Hmm. Much appreciated, friend. Thanks to you, we can. I swear, this. Not you. Don't talk foolish words. I'm talking a whole bunch of foolish words. You can set up. Yang Hei Zhao, Yue Xiao Dan. Anyway, as a, a local porter was on his way here, it's a two hundred. He apparently stumbled across. That's not the half of it. The mate called me skeptical, but she died. So I asked him to carve naturally, which is why I had him excavate a number of those in addition to the one he told me about. Didn't even have the good sense to mark the cargo was where talk old, but you to protect you against the fume, just to be you can pick it. That fossil could while there are examples of viviparous fish. An ammonite, and if it is indeed another one, could the umbilical cord? We must recover that. It could provide a vital clue to the mechanism. We're so close, so very, very close. Hurry, Sam. We. 有刺打一谷石。嗯，谷石。An oxygen mask. It'll filtrate the air and keep you. In addition to protecting you from toxic gases, if it didn't have a limited battery life, I'd tell you to keep it on the whole. Hmm, 六八零零口罩，氧气罩。嗯。Thanks for bringing it. And yes, I've already sent some images and a preliminary analysis. Interestingly, it seems the sur which lines up with one of his. Anyway, I I know you only just brought this ammonite here, but lately she's taken it, and I think she'd be eager. It's quite to clarify. She has been accordingly. I would ask that you all and deliver them. It would be too dangerous for her. By aiding her research, we may yet. In We've already made some with your continued help. See you on God Team. Good work. Been like a long time. Wow. Don't seem too far. 打过几次手啦，仲系搞唔明，乜卵嘢？虽然又话佢系乜卵嘢，军人又成，咩特种部队啊？海军陆战队。
Sammy, who? Thinking you could keep her safe. Man like you.
依個係要咩就得噶咯。係咩？係啦，咁多 BT。咁乸多 BT， 邊個敢接啊？发射。Thank you. It goes without saying, but I am convinced that the top, after all, both it and timefall are the defining features of the post-stranding ecosystem. Sudden environmental changes such as these invariably lead to the extinction of organisms. Those that do adapt do so by virtue of enhancers, the regions of DNA that grant successful organisms their these genetic factors. But there are genes which have the opposite effect. Those extinction factors, as they, these are the seeds of advance. Such factors may lie dormant within a for every being. If so, then ancient proof may hide deep within the tar. Evidence of these genetic decisions that may aid us. In any event, thanks to you, I'll make sure to share any. Well done, Sam. You furthered our research into the. Thank you again for bringing me. Speaking of which. My analysis of it. I've been comparing the data again. Anyway, preparations are finally complete for the chiral re. If you could collect the necessary materials for the restoration work and bring. 